Who was here last year? Huh? And you dare to come again? <laughs> you know that I'm not a nice monk, yeah? <clears throat> I come from the forest, and the forest is wild, yeah? And so will be the teaching. <clears throat> Not very comfortable to hear. Yeah? It's not be good people here, yeah? do some dana, and you always go to heaven. Yeah? I can't talk lies like that, yeah? because it's a lie. Yeah? <clears throat> Most of the people will go to hell anyway. Yeah? <clears throat> I just came from hell, you know, and go back to hell. Just have a prison break, yeah? Just like the people who go to prison, yeah? <clears throat> then they're released, yeah? And then they can't do anything better than you know, commit the next crime, yeah? And then they go to prison again. Yeah? It's not me who talks like that. It's the Lord Buddha, huh? <clears throat> you remember what the Lord Buddha said? Huh? How many people, when Venerable Ananda asked him, <clears throat> when the Venerable Ananda asked the Lord Buddha how many people are going to heaven, how many people are going to hell, what do you think is the answer? Yeah. Do you see that bull over there? How many horns does he have? These are the people who go to heaven or Nibbana. How many hairs does he have on his fur? These are the people who go to hell. It's not me. The Lord Buddha said that, yeah? <clears throat> so no matter what you are, yeah? no matter if you're Christian, no matter if you're Muslim, no matter if you're Buddhist, the religion itself doesn't help you. Yeah? They can believe in God, they can believe in Allah, we can believe in the Buddha. It doesn't save us from hell. Yeah? The only thing that saves us from hell is Keeping the five precepts, yeah? Yeah? Yeah. It's the same with here in this country. As long as you keep the laws, you don't go to prison, huh? No? Everybody believes that, yeah? But about the five precepts, ah, maybe it's not so strict, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Now, what's the first precept? Not harming any living being, yeah? The second one, not taking what is not given. Huh? It's not only stealing. Huh? <coughs> grabbing, the, grabbing the apple of, you know, of an apple yard that is not ours. Yeah? That is already taken what is not given. Yeah? <coughs> now, sexual misconduct. Yeah? Number one crime in this world. Yeah? Yeah? A husband has a wife and that's it. A wife has a husband, that's it. Yeah? No, no, no little husband, no little wife, yeah? yeah? Not going outside of the marriage, being faithful to one, one each other, yeah? And not, not having sex with people who are dependent on us, yeah? yeah? It starts with the parents and children, yeah? goes to the teacher and the, stu and the students, and it goes to the... <coughs> Yeah, in the university to the profs and the air students, yeah? That's all sexual misconduct. And then he goes to the boss and its secretary, yeah? It's all sexual misconduct. And when you look at the world now, do you believe? 
Number one crime, yeah? Lots of sexual misconduct. <clears throat> and then, no lies, yeah? How often do we lie? How many times a day? Think about, yeah? Not telling the truth, yeah? You don't have to say anything, but you, don't, you shouldn't lie, yeah? Somebody accuses you of something, yeah, and you did it really, and you say, no, I didn't do it, yeah? It's a lie, yeah? Just keep your mouth shut, <laughs> yeah? <clears throat> no lies, no harsh speech, yeah? That harms other beings, yeah? <clears throat> and the last one, no alcohol, no trucks, yeah? Everything that makes us unmindful. Yeah? Yeah? And now look at your life, how well have you kept the five precepts? It's important, yeah? I mean, if you don't want to go down to the lower realms, yeah? You better keep the five precepts, yeah? At least from now on, yeah? What is in the past you can't correct anymore, yeah? All the sins you have done in the past, you know, I will come back to you, yeah? At the end of your life, yeah? <clears throat> you will meet your fate, yeah? People just don't believe it, yeah? They don't believe, you know? The younger generation doesn't believe in heaven and hell anymore. Eh? There's heaven. There are beings in heaven. Eh? If you want, you can see them. You, if you want, you can talk to them. Eh? And sometimes if you want, you can hear their chants eh? or their music. Eh? And if you want to visit their palaces, you know, you can go. Eh? <clears throat> it's not beyond our abilities. Eh? <clears throat> it's the same thing for hell. Yeah? If you want to see you know, how the people suffer in hell, you can go there. Yeah? Just for visit, yeah. <laughs> so that you know. Yeah? I mean, I met <clears throat> one, one of my colleagues, a monk, you know, I mean, he was, he was going in samadhi, you know, and he suddenly was in hell. Yeah? And then the chaunati, I mean, the uh, whatever it is, you know, I mean, the guardian, yeah. They said, ah, there you are already, you know, that is your place, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Oh, and then he looked again, oh, you're not dead yet, but you know where you go <laughs> when you die, yeah? It's real, yeah? Don't think it's not real. Yeah? It's one of the big hindrances, yeah? <clears throat> And there are different kinds of hell for different kinds of crimes, yeah? Just like we, also in our world, you know, I mean, we distinguish, you know, between smaller crimes and bigger crimes, yeah? So some people go into light prisons and other people go into the heavenly, or heaven, have, heavenly prisons, yeah? No? Why should it be different, huh? Why is that so? <clears throat> it's... It gives also always these these bumps, yeah. <clears throat> it's always in my face, yeah. I can't even move, yeah. <clears throat> but we don't want to hear about it, no? We want to live in our illusion, yeah? No. We plan the future, and the future never comes, yeah? We try to correct the past that cannot be corrected. And when are we ever in the present moment? Huh? When, when are we not lost in thoughts? And when are we not lost in daydreaming? Huh? Hmm? And when are we not lost in our smartphones? Huh? They're always in your pocket. Huh? Huh? <clears throat> Nowadays it's very difficult. Yeah? 
for people, you know, for the younger generation to concentrate because they're constantly distracted by their smartphones, yeah? Huh? I mean, they walk, they walk on, on the sidewalk, you know, and they bump into, into each other because they don't see each other, yeah? They don't even realize there's a world out there, yeah? They don't realize that there are people out there, yeah? When they meet people, they go into a cafe, you know, and text each other instead of talking to each other, huh? I've seen that, yeah? Huh? Huh? Sitting each, yeah? Huh? Each one drinking his coffee, you know, and then texting each other. Huh? <laughs> what kind of life is that, yeah? Huh? Completely, yeah? <clears throat> you depreciate yourself, yeah? From real life, from real happening, from the moment, yeah? From this present moment. And you're here probably because, yeah, I mean, when I look at your faces, you all look so happy. Huh? <laughs> huh? You have lots of dukkha, you know, you have to work to live, yeah? But you live to eat, yeah? Huh? You don't eat to live, yeah? You eat to, uh, you live to eat, yeah? Eat this, eat that, you know, and, uh, yeah, killing your time, yeah, doing this, doing that, yeah? <clears throat> when you do something that is real, yeah, that profits you, yeah, that profits the heart. Huh? Have you ever realized you have a heart? Huh? Not the physical heart, not the emotional heart, yeah, the heart that rules this body. Huh? That is the Chao Kong, that is the owner of this body. Have you noticed there is something? How often? Once in a lifetime, twice in a lifetime. What am I doing? That's when you realize you have a heart, yeah? That is aware, yeah? <clears throat> but most of the time, we just run like zombies through the streets, yeah? No? Next time you go into the city, yeah? Or in a shopping mall, then look at the people, yeah? They run after their greed. Yeah? No? Just, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. Yeah? They don't see anything else than their greed. Yeah? I mean, they're not the zombies like in the movies. Yeah? They're sophisticated zombies. Yeah? Like us. Yeah? Running after our greed. Yeah? <clears throat> no? You disagree? Huh? When are we aware? Huh? When are we really aware of what we are doing, why we are doing it, and what kind of results our doing has? Huh? No? When? Are there times? Only when we run into big problems, yeah? <laughs> yeah? When our autopilot doesn't work anymore, yeah? When our programming doesn't work anymore. If we can fix it, you know, we fix it. Yeah? If we can't fix it, we go to a psychiatrist. Yeah? Help me be able to live in this world. Yeah? Hmm? And then he fixes our programs yeah? and so that we can live in this world, that we can work, yeah? <clears throat> that we can eat, yeah? that we can live, huh? <clears throat> and then we can die. And when we are dead, what happens then? Huh? We annihilate it, huh? What is the Buddha's teaching? Huh? When we end this life, we go into the next life. Huh? No? Huh? When you're the owner of a car, when your car breaks down, when you can't fix it, what do you do? You look for a new car. No? Huh? <laughs> when our body breaks down and it cannot be used anymore, the owner looks for a new body. Yeah? And depending on the merit he has done, yeah? I mean, he gets a human body or he gets a body in, in the ghost realm or he gets a body in the hell realm. Yeah? 
No? Don't believe the Lord Buddha? Huh? <clears throat> and some people, you know, who, who are mer meritorious, you know, they might go to heaven. Yeah? But even heaven and hell are not lasting. Yeah? They are not permanent. Yeah? They are too cow. They, they are impermanent. They are, yeah, it, they are just like holidays, you know. Every one of you, you know, works, saves money you know, for going on holidays. Yeah? What do you do when the money is gone? <laughs> you go back and save some more. Yeah? Yeah, it's the same with heaven. Yeah? No? Don't believe? Yeah? People from heaven fall off the heaven, you know, and become, come back as a human being or come back, you know, or end up in hell. Yeah? Bad karma, you know, you have to, you have to get rid of in hell. Good karma, you can get rid of in heaven or in the human life. Yeah? It's, the Lord Buddha teaches everything, yeah? huh? but you still don't believe it, huh? Why? Because we don't want to believe. Yeah? We want to live in an illusion that everything is nice, everything is fine. Yeah, I'm fine. You are fine. Yeah. No, I'm not fine. I'm very unhappy. <laughs> huh? I have lots of dukkha. Yeah? Huh? Dukkha is dissatisfaction. We have lots of dukkha. We are dissatisfied about this. We are dissatisfied about that. Yeah? If you don't understand dukkha, yeah? remember, yeah? remember the morning, every morning. Yeah? Yeah? You wake up and you don't want to get up. Already to come. Huh? <laughs> we don't want to get up. We want just to sleep again. Okay? Yeah? Yeah? But work is calling for us, you know, so we have to get up or we have to look after our children, yeah, and so on. Yeah? So it's already dukkha. Yeah? Yeah? Then we get hungry, it's dukkha. Yeah? Yeah? Then, we, then we get thirsty, it's dukkha. Then we need to move the body because it's not comfortable in this position or that position, yeah? it's dukkha. Yeah? Yeah? Then we need to go to the toilet to relieve our shit, dukkha. Huh? And then we are too tired, huh? dukkha. And the only thing that we know in our life is, yeah? <clears throat> now what, what is it? Um, to get rid of dukkha. Yeah? So, when we're hungry, we eat. We're getting rid of dukkha. Yeah? So we feel fine after eating. Yeah? Lots of people think, you know, eating is pleasure. But the moment you're full, you don't want to eat anything anymore. Yeah? No? Otherwise, <laughs> you burst or you get indigestion. Huh? Huh? When we are thirsty, we drink. Yeah? It's relieving dukkha. Yeah? When we go to the toilet, it's relieving dukkha. And everybody knows, ah, so nice. <laughs> When the shit goes out. <laughs> yeah? It's all relieving dukkha. It's not yet, yeah? I mean, we still don't know, you know, what is the cause of our dukkha? The cause of our dukkha is our desire. Yeah? We have the desires. When it's too hot, we want it to cool. When it's too cold, we want it to be warm. Yeah? When we are hungry, we want to be, you know, we want to be filled. Yeah? yeah? When we are tired, we want to sleep. Yeah? That's a desire that creates all this dukkha. Yeah? And the desire, you know, to be somebody, to become somebody, yeah? to have lots of money or to have power, to be respected, that's all the desire. Yeah? Yeah? And this all creates a dukkha. And also the desire not to meet this person, not to have this job, not to, yeah? <clears throat> not to be poor, you know, it's all so desire. It also creates dukkha. If we would be just happy yeah, with the way things are, there would be no dukkha. Can you? Not even for one minute. <laughs> you, cannot be, you cannot be quiet for one, one minute not wanting anything. Yeah? It's constantly, it's constantly this desire constantly creeps up. Yeah? And you think, you know, if you follow this desire, yeah, you can get rid of it. Yeah? Only for a, for a split second. You buy a new dress, you know, 
And then you're happy for a moment and then you want a new bag or new shoes and so on. Yeah? Yeah? Or a new hairstyle. Yeah? You want to change yourself. You want to change the outside. Yeah? You never want to change the inside or you don't even realize that there's something inside of it. Yeah? <clears throat> that is the design that creates a dukkha. And you have to understand it. Yeah? If you're just comfortable, and there's, there's a, f for a moment, you know, and that's what we are going to train here, we can, for a moment, you know, be in a state, yeah, where we don't want anything. Yeah? But in order to get to the state, we have to shut down the mind engine. We have to shut down thoughts, and we have to shut down memories. The moment thoughts and memory are shut down, we are happy. We are contented. Yeah? And we don't need to drink alcohol and we don't need to take, you know, whatever it is called, amphetamine or whatever, or meth or what. I don't know what these drugs are called now. Heroin, cocaine, yeah. That used to be at my time, yeah. <laughs> now it is different, yeah. <clears throat> we don't need to take these drugs to be happy. All what we need to do is concentrate our mind. But it is very difficult for us to concentrate our mind, yeah? Our mind constantly goes out, yeah? And the more, you know, the more we are playing with these modern devices that make us actually more stupid, yeah? The more distracted we are and the more difficult it is, you know, to concentrate, yeah? And to get this calm that we are all looking for. The happiness, we don't have to create this happiness, yeah? The happiness is there in our heart. The calmness, the peacefulness is there in our heart. But we have lost the way to our heart. Or we have lost the keys, or we've thrown away the keys, yeah, to our heart. Now, now we have to find them again, you know, and open our heart, you know, and see. Everything is there. Whatever we desire is there. Yeah? And the moment we are in our heart, there is no more desire. Yeah? The moment we come out, you know, of course, the desire comes back again. We need a safe house, yeah? And that is our safe house, yeah? Going, going to rest in the heart. That is our safe house. And we need to develop it, yeah? Try to remember when you were th two or three years old, yeah? You remember learning to walk? If not, try to remember it, yeah? If you have children, you know, know how difficult it is. You get up, you fall down, you get up, you fall down, you hit your nose, you bleed, you know, you cry for a little while. Do you give up? No. Because you want to walk. Yeah? And meditation is nothing different from that. Yeah? It's the same thing. We, we get up, we fall over. We get up, we fall over. We get up, we fall over. Yeah? Mm. In meditation it is, you know, we try to concentrate the mind on the tip of the nose, like in Anapanasati, yeah, and stay there with our concentration, knowing that the breath is going in, knowing that the breath is going out, not following the breath. That is Anapanasati, yeah. Or the mental repetition of the word Buddha or Dhammo or Sankho, yeah. And then you see, you know, I mean, you, you, you are with two Buddhas and then the mind goes out. So you bring it back, Buddha, yeah. Or, yeah, you're with one breath, you know, and the mind goes out, so you bring it back, and you bring it back, and you bring it back. So we have to be extremely patient, yeah? If you give up, you're lost. Yeah? You cannot give up, yeah? Hmm? I mean, a child never gives up to learn to walk, huh? because it wants. It's so much desire, and that's where we actually need to put our desire, huh? Our desire to get calm, our desire to get concentrated, huh? or our desire to get free. Huh? We can't let go of this. Yeah? I mean, please, please, you know, I mean, if I give a talk, please don't drink. Yeah? I mean, can't you live without water for half an hour? Huh? <clears throat> It's not, yeah, it's not very respectful to, towards the Dhamma if you start to drink, you know, while, while a teacher you now exerts himself, you know, to teach us. Huh? Do you think it's a lot of fun, you know, to, to sit in a group, you know, and teach the people? Huh? 
I rather would be, you know, alone in a cave, yeah? Not be bothered by anybody, yeah? And then I sit in front of my monks, you know, and then they look at me, yeah? Huh? All want them. All want something, yeah? It's not much fun, yeah? Maybe you think it's nice to be a teacher, yeah? It's not fun, yeah? <clears throat> but I do it because out of matter for you, yeah? I want to wake you up, yeah? Hello, where are you? Huh? Are you aware? Are you awake, yeah? Are you fast asleep, yeah? Just like the Lord Buddha said, yeah? Open your eyes and see for yourself, yeah? You can see everything, yeah? The Lord Buddha just taught the way, yeah? If you go the path, yeah, and open your eyes, yeah, you can see for yourself, yeah? There's nothing, there's nothing mystical about this religion. It's very logical, very rational, yeah? It's so rational that, you know, I mean, lots of Westerners, you know, don't like it, yeah? Because there's no mystic in it. Eh? Eh? If you do this, that will happen. If you do that, this will happen. Eh? We don't like this. Religion must be something, you know, I mean, that is mystic. Eh? Must have some hidden features, some hidden treasure. No. Eh? <clears throat> if you kill a person, you will be killed. Yeah? If you steal, you will be, you know, somebody else will steal you. You know, it's very logical. Yeah. Very reasonable. Huh? If you concentrate your mind, you know, the mind where it gets calm and it becomes happy. Yeah? You can all test it out yeah, for yourself. Yeah? There's no mystic behind it. Yeah? So don't, don't look for something. Yeah? All. I mean, with Tibetan Buddhism, there are all these, you know, gondolas that you turn around and pray your prayer wheels and what whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, most of the religion have something. Yeah, <clears throat> that make you believe in God. You know, yet your belief will not heal you. Yeah, will not save you. Yeah, even even though you know our modern Christians say if you believe in God, you will be saved. Yeah, <clears throat> or you will go to heaven. Yeah. And then I tell these people, yeah, don't wonder if this is if this heaven is really hot. Yeah? <laughs> huh? It is burning hot. Yeah? Believing doesn't help you a thing. Huh? Even believing the Lord Buddha doesn't save you. Yeah? Having faith in the teaching of the Lord Buddha and start to walk the path that the Lord Buddha, you know, gives us, yeah, that is what saves you. Yeah? And the first thing that you do, as, even as lay people, you don't have to become monks and nuns, yeah, is to keep the five precepts if you want to have the right to become back as a human being. Yeah? Cause and effect, yeah? If you keep the five precepts, you can come back as a human being. If you don't keep them, you will be away, huh? in prison for a while, in a, in a realm that you normally don't like very much, yeah? And we all know this realm very well, yeah? Why can people scare us with hell? Huh? <laughs> because we know hell so good, so well, yeah? We have been to hell so many times, yeah? Lumpo himself itself, sometimes very, very long, yeah? Unimaginably long, yeah? And sometimes short, yeah? But very, very often, yeah? Because we can't let go of the things that are bad for us, yeah? And you know that, you know, in your, in your present daily life, yeah? <clears throat> you know something is bad for, for you, you know, but you still want to do it, yeah? The heart still wants to do it, yeah? Because the heart is still wild. It has not been <clears throat> curbed in. Hmm? And that's what we learn. But first of all, you know, we have to learn how to make the heart calm, yeah? To find a safe place, yeah? Just like, you know, like when we were kids, you know, our safe place were at home, yeah? I mean, when other kids were beating us up, you know, or, or, or harassing us, you know, we run back home, you know, and then, mommy, mommy, yeah, puppy, yeah, now I'm safe, yeah? Because the bad kids couldn't enter, yeah? And that's the same thing with samadhi, yeah? For the moment, you know, when we are in samadhi, when there are no more thoughts, when there is no memories, nobody can enter, so the kilesas that constantly, you know, <clears throat> drive us to do this or do that, you know, or bother us, or worries, you know, or fears that all come up, yeah? 
Our heart is so full of worries, yeah? Stop thinking and there's no worry. Huh? Just stop thinking. Yeah? I mean, when do we need to think, yeah? Huh? It's our entertainment tool. Yeah? Our mind has become our entertainment tool, yeah? We think, we paint pictures, you know, we live in imaginary worlds, yeah? When I have this, you know, I will do this, yeah? But to get there, you know, I mean, it is very difficult and sometimes impossible, yeah? yeah? I just have to find the right partner, yeah? I changed my partner already five times, yeah? It was never the right one, yeah? <clears throat> Maybe you are not the right one, huh? Yeah? Ever, ever thought about that? Yeah? Yeah. Maybe the problem lies within you. Yeah? Yeah. At least, you know, I mean, I came to this realization when I was 29. Yeah? Maybe, maybe it's not the problem of my girlfriends. Yeah? Maybe it's my problem. <laughs> yeah? And then I started to see. But if I never asked the question, you know, I would have never seen it. Yeah? We always point fingers at other people. We never point fingers at ourselves. Yeah? We always badmouth other people. We never badmouth ourselves, yeah? But we don't like if other people badmouth us, yeah? yeah? So don't do unto others what you don't want others to do unto you. I mean, we all know the saying, don't we? Yeah? But we don't know the second part of this, yeah? For whatever happens to you right now, why, why is this always? <coughs> is it my... Is it my voice, you know, that triggers something? Because I'm not touching it. <clears throat> but then people won't hear it, huh? <clears> or? <throat> that, that falls over, that falls over. Now remember that very well. You still hear me in the back? Remember that very well. For what, whatever happens right now to us, listen, open your ears. For whatever happens right now to us, is that exactly that what we have done unto others in previous lives? Huh? Not nice, huh? Not fair. We feel that people are treating us unfair. Yeah? There is nothing that is so just like karma. Yeah? Whatever you do will come back to you. Karma is just like a boomerang. It just waits, you know. Takes some time to return to us, but then it returns with the same intention we threw it. Yeah? If we threw it with a good intention, the good intention comes back to us. If we threw it with a bad intention, the bad intention comes back to us. But because we only see this life, yeah, and hardly remember anything, you know, that happened 10 years ago, yeah, we don't remember what we've done in the previous lives, yeah? So, yeah, whatever happens in this life, you know, comes mostly comes from previous life. Whatever we do in this life will come back in the next lives. Uh, uh. Ask a farmer, yeah? If he wants to eat next year, he has to plant this year. No? Huh? Can he eat the things, you know, that he plants instantly? But we believe, you know, when we do something good, you know, it has to come back instantly, huh? And if we do something bad, you know, we don't want it to be back, yeah? But it also comes back instantly. Hmm. No. It, karma takes more time to ripe, you know, than, than, than vegetables or rice or potatoes, yeah, yeah, or fruits, even fruits, yeah. Hmm? Takes a long time to ripe, yeah. So remember this very well, yeah. Don't fight, yeah. Don't think that you are uh, treated unfairly. Well, bite your teeth, yeah? And say, well, come. <laughs> yeah? The only thing you can do with karma is to accept it, yeah? If you fight it, it will come back. And it will come back in a very bad situation, yeah? Where you can't fight it anymore, yeah? So just accept it, yeah? 
bite your, bite your teeth, you know. Or put, put some wood, you know. I mean, it used to be, you know, when the women gave birth, you know, they put some wood, you know, with cloth, you know, between their teeth, you know, so that they can, yeah, get rid of the pain or they can endure the pain, yeah. So do the same thing, you know, when bad karma comes back, yeah. We never have any problem with good karma comes back, yeah. Hmm? You remember the Christians, you know, whenever bad karma comes back, when, when this misfortune happens to them, they run to, to the church, you know, pray, Jesus, Jesus, take this away from me, yeah? But when they win in the lottery, nobody runs, huh? Huh? Good things, you know, it's our right, you know, bad things, it's somebody else did it to us, yeah? No. I mean, either, you, either both things are not of your <coughs> cause or everything is of your cause. Huh? Yeah? Good things happen because we did good things. Bad things happen because we did bad things. Huh? Get a hold of your life, yeah? And wake up, yeah? Just like the Lord Buddha said. Open your eyes and see for yourself, yeah? And now, what we are going to do is... What time is it? Ten. <clears throat> is to learn how to meditate, yeah? I mean, there are two, two, two ways, you know, to calm the mind. First of all, we learn samadhi, yeah? The other thing, you know, I mean, it is more difficult. First, we, we need to be able to concentrate. So, we sit comfortable, yeah? Cross-legged, half lotus, full lotus, yeah? And then we close our eyes, yeah? <clears throat> and when, then we take, you know, then we take either, we concentrate on the tip of the nose, if you've done Anapanasati before, yeah? Don't follow the breath, and know that the breath is coming in, and know that the breath is going out, yeah? And when the mind, <clears throat> and when the mind goes out, you know, just return it, yeah? Don't worry where it goes, don't ask why it goes, yeah? Just return it back, yeah? Don't think this is important or that is important, just return. The moment you know you're not with the breath, you know, just return it to the breath. Huh? If you think a lot, you know, use the word buddha, mental repetition, buddha, 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 yeah? But don't say it aloud, you know, just think it, yeah? If you think buddha, you cannot think anything else. Huh? But if the mind goes out, it will go out, you know, then you just call it back to the buddha, and then back to the buddha, and then back to the buddha. And that is just as tough as learning to walk, yeah? So if you, had, if you had children, you know, and saw them how they learned to walk, you know, it is tough, yeah? In the beginning they had to crawl up, you know, and hold themselves, you know? And then they tried to stand freely, you know, and then they fell over, yeah? And that's the same with meditation. Meditation, yeah? It's a training. It's a training. It's nothing that we can, yeah, understand, yeah? That's a pity of it. It's a mental training, yeah? And we have to learn it, yeah? <clears throat> so every thought, every memory that comes up, you replace with the Buddha or with the attention on the breath, yeah? So when you do sitting meditation, that's it, yeah? <clears throat> you close your eyes and you're with the Buddha, 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 yeah? yeah? We can try it now for two, two or three minutes, yeah? Close your eyes, yeah? Relax, yeah? And then just be with the Buddha, yeah, or with the breath. And when the mind goes away, yeah, strolls off, goes for a stroll, then just bring it back to the Buddha or to the breath, the tip of the nose. Don't follow the breath.
Okay, now you can open your eyes. You see, the teaching of, of uh, doing samadhi is very easy, yeah? Doing it is very difficult. Yeah? Just stay with the Buddha. Or if it is too difficult, you can use put with breathing in, do with breathing out. Yeah? Just use two crutches to walk. Yeah? Yeah? <clears throat> and now, walking meditation. And forth and back, not in circles. Yeah. All our life is in circles already. We don't want to go in circles. <laughs> Understood? Any question about meditation? Because then now you start. Yeah? You as well. You have to do the practice, yeah? I cannot practice for you. Huh? Took long for a long time, you know, to be able to focus his mind. Yeah? But I was willing to do it. I was determined to do it. Yeah? Effort and determination. Okay. There is no nothing that we cannot do. This shitter is so powerful and we limit it. We limit it to playing games on our smartphone or on the computer, or in the internet, huh? or talking, talking, talking. Yeah? Now, so while you do this retreat, yeah? what is a retreat? Yeah? Re always means going back, and treat is giving yourself a treat. Yeah? <laughs> huh? <clears throat> Actually, it means going back into the heart. Yeah? That's what is a retreat. So you don't you don't spend the time talking to other people. You don't spend the time looking at other people. Yeah? The only thing that you look at is your own feet, you know, or, or the tip of the nose, you know, where the breath is. Yeah. Okay, understood? Well, happy meditation, yeah? Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.